You're looking at a video that I shot during my Sunday morning walk. I prefer to worship in nature. I find comfort and meaning in solitude. My sense of spirituality has more meaning in relationship with all of nature and with all of mankind. I prefer to believe that I need not belong to a special group to worship a special God that identify himself only with special people in a special time frame. You of course must be free to think for yourself and you must be free to develop your own core belief system. After all, in the end, none of us really know anything for a fact. Anyway, in looking at this video, you're going to have to determine what you're looking at, what symbolisms are present, and the significance, if any, of what is being presented. My guess would be just as good as yours. Just prior to this scene, I was contemplating some possibilities and I was evaluating my own concepts, thoughts of Microdac. For one thing, for example, to me, unwelcome compromise means a deviation and deviation means pollution of purpose. I take pictures. In your eyes, there are many things that I should do things that would be more profitable. But to me, I simply take pictures. Judging me and my abilities based on your expectations of me is not good for me. I am, after all, who I am. Another example? Well, being a child of the 60s, I not only know the difference between being legal and being just, because I have experienced the differences. In the 60s, a lot of things were legal and they were unjust. A legal system is not necessarily a just system. Therefore, I cannot compromise my desire to see, not only in the United States, but in the world, a system adopting justice as its core. A system that embraces the term and spirit of justice for all. For some, a legal system should exist to protect the rich and the powerful while exploiting the weak and the poor. Let's just say that as far as I am concerned there is a difference in opinion, meaning that I do not agree. Then there is this business about group hate. This election, as in all elections, will be sold to the public based on perceptions. Politicians will create enemies so that these creations will be causes to hate. Group hate is a very popular idea and group hate works. The perception of any one group as the enemy works. I, therefore, will be very sensitive to the creation of group hate as an avenue to winning the hearts and minds of the uninformed. Another difference I contemplated on this Sunday morning is the difference between principles and people. Principles are uncompromising. People are not. People worshipping is popular and it is easy. The compromising of principle is not as easy to sell to the informed person of integrity. It is my belief though that informed persons of integrity are in the minority. The masses prefer to be ignorant and to be uninformed which makes people worship that much easier. Then as I mentioned in an earlier video there is a difference between the messages and messengers. All messengers no matter what they are called are flawed. Whether they are called messiahs, sages, gods or priests they are all flawed. Messages however have merit. Messages of peace, love, sharing, brotherhood and compassion have all stood the test of time, while, as you know, messengers have come and gone. They are now dust in the wind. So what's the relevancy of my rambling to this scene? Perhaps there is none. We are free to rationalize and make up stuff as we go along, just as we are free to create scenarios that do not exist to satisfy a belief system. Maybe. What you see is nothing more than a butterfly either remains of something undefinable. Maybe there's no symbolism at all. No message, 
no sermon, save for the fact that it is a Sunday and this is what I photograph in the middle of the street. But then, I know only that I know nothing, and you must think for yourself.